Shalom, everybody. I have some startling biblical facts I wanted to share with you right now. Uh, some, something uh, I just felt important to share with you, share, share on this segment. Um, let's just get down to it. Okay. Okay, let's see the fact. Here, here's the fact, and I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to show, like the other segments, I'm going to show you, uh, show you the scriptures. You could look this stuff up on, uh, contemplate, think about it, meditate, pray, pray on it. Um, here we go. Okay, here's my notes. Uh, the word Trinity is absent from the New Testament. Scripture states that the Father is superior to the Son with no mention of the Holy Spirit as an individual being. See, a lot of people, mainstream uh, Christianity believes in the Trinity, you know, believes that the, the Holy Spirit is a, is a being. And uh, it's actually the, the power, the will and the power of Yahweh. And uh, it, uh, oh, excuse me, he, uh, if it was, uh, if, if uh, Holy Spirit was a being, he would have actually been the father of Yeshua, for one thing. For one thing. For another thing, when it comes to the apostles, especially like Paul, at the beginning, they they greet the brethren with uh, with uh, the Father and the Son. They never make a mention of the Holy Spirit in their greetings or even in their you know conclusions. They don't make mention of being a being, and you think you think that would be a uh, would be wrong for them to do that if uh, there was three beings, you know, in the Godhead. So there, them two. There's other things too, but the scripture here, scriptures here, you could look this this up on us. Matthew chapter one, verse twenty, and then you go to twenty eight, verse nineteen. You could uh, then John, John, you go to ten thirty, then skip over to First John chapter five. Verse seven through eight. Um, I will go to the other one. The concept of punishment and an everlasting burning hellfire is of human invention. The Bible refers only to the complete death of the wicked, annihilation, gone, burned up, gone in the ash. Um, you can find that in Isaiah sixty-six, verse twenty-four, Jude seven, Matthew. 10 verse 28 then you go to 26 38th verse Ezekiel 18 4 and 20 now the annihilation annihilation of the is second the second death the first you know the first death you go in the grave and you you not you know you know revived until the resurrection when uh Yeshua comes back again you know he comes back second advent and he uh, raises the dead and some to everlasting peace and prosperity and salvation, the others to contempt and shame, you know. Um, but uh, this uh, ever burning hellfire where a human being will go in and be burnt for eternity, that punishment don't fit the crime of, of the sins. You know, the father is a fair, just Elohim, he's he's fair and just, and that wouldn't be fair, you know. Wouldn't you know the punishment wouldn't fit the crime, and he's a loving, he's a loving, uh, loving father. He wouldn't do that. So that and uh, this this comes from a uh, paganism, Greek paganism, and you know Egypt and other 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 civilizations. Here's uh, okay. The other one, the father has but one name, Yahweh. All other references refer to his titles. Now, yeah, he's got he's got titles like Father and you know Almighty and uh, but you can find that in Exodus uh, chapter three, verse fifteen, Hosea twelve, verse five, and then go to the Psalms eighty three, verse eighteen. The Messiah was never called Jesus in his lifetime. The letter J does not exist in the Hebrew or Greek languages and did not exist in English language until the 16th century. A lot of people don't don't believe that, don't understand that, but that's that's the truth. You know, 
go back a few centuries, you know, and they always put a Y or even an I in front of something like Joe or John or Jeff or whatever. But you can find that in Matthew, uh, first chapter, verse 21. Yeshua came not to destroy the law, but to fulfill it, fully fill it, magnify it, maintain or complete the requirements of the law. You can find that in Matthew chapter 5, verse 17 through 20. Then you go to 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 22. While justification is found apart from works through grace, sanctification, living approved life requires obedience. It does. It requires obedience. You know, like a lot of people think, you know, you, you grace, grace is going to get you out of it. You don't have to do nothing except just sit back on a recliner with a martini and not do nothing, you know, and that's not the case here. And that's, you could find, you could find this, you know, the info on this Romans chapter three, verse 31. Then you go to chapter six, verse 23, and seven, verse 12. Then you go to James chapter two, 14 through 17, Matthew chapter 7 to 21, and Hebrews 5, verse 9. Upon death, believers do not go to heaven, where they experience eternal rest with the Father and Son. On the contrary, their breath and spirit returns to Yahweh, and they go to the grave in an unconscious state until the second coming of the Messiah. And that's, that's uh, you find that in Psalms 146, verse 4. Matthew 27, verse 52, John chapter 3, verse 13, and 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 16. Excuse me. Now we'll go to the other one here. The word rapture does not appear in the New Testament. Instead, the Bible speaks about two resurrections, only two. The first occurring at the return of the Messiah and the second at the end of the millennium. You can find that in Daniel chapter 12, verse 2, Revelations 20, verses 4 to 15. There, is, there are no instances of the apostles worshiping on the first day of the week, meaning Sunday. All occurrences of weekly worship refer to the seventh day Sabbath. Seventh day Sabbath. Acts 13, verse 14. Chapter 16, 13. 17, verse 2. 18, verse 4. So yeah, Yeshua and them, they didn't they didn't, you know, he, Yeshua didn't change change the day. He, he didn't change it. He Like the law and the prophets, and he magnified the law, and the prophets were the witness, and the apostles were the current, in that time, current the current witnesses. And that's uh, a lot, you know, it's about man-made traditions is what it is. You know, if we don't like these rules, we're going to change them. We're going to, we're going to sugarcoat this stuff, and we're going to bend it to, you know, what we're comfortable with. You know, ain't going to get in the way of our carnal lifestyles uh, and the last one here would be except for the king james version the word easter does not appear in the new testament the greek reads pasha referring to the passover you can find that in the book of acts chapter 12 verse 4 and uh that's that's how that's how um eager these People, these people wanted to get get the belief system going. You know, the paganism creeped right into the Christianity. You know, it start, started right around the time uh, John was writing Revelations, you know, and a little bit before that with Paul and them, heresies coming in and everything. And then finally, hundreds of, year, hundreds of years later, it started creeping it, really creeping in, getting a footing in it. And in order to... Uh, Christianized the pagans, they had to adopt it. They had to adopt paganism, you know, the beliefs and change little names around, you know, like, you know, the from whatever, you know, Mary and baby Jesus and, you know, 
the apostle Peter, they they had to they had to change the pagan names and conform them to the biblical names. And and that trickle effect went down to generations and that's what they were force fed. They were trained they you know, kids growing up in a faith, a Christian faith like that, they know don't know any better. They just take the word for from their parents, pastors or preachers. And they don't, they don't, they ain't, they're not encouraged to study scripture. That's plain and simple. They're not encouraged. You know, they just say, believe us. You don't have to work. You don't have to do nothing. You don't have to look, trust us, trust us. That's, that's what that's all about. But anyways, I just wanted to uh, share this with you because I thought it would be, free, you know, some fruit for your thoughts about that. And, uh, and that's about it. Um, just tell you, would you do me a favor and like my channel and subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment below, you know, to have discussion, you know, with all brethren and everything. And we're here to learn, you know, and communicate and work things out. So anyways, that's all I got to say right now. And shalom, everyone. Have a great one.